Welcome to this complete App Store Recommendation Evaluation Masterclass designed specifically for passing the TELUS International Media Search Analyst Training Exam. In this baseline video, we'll evaluate whether a recommended app is relevant to a seed app, the main app the user is interested in. You're judging how well the recommendation might satisfy the user's interest based on category, content and functionality, game mechanics when relevant, target audience. A quick disclaimer before we continue. This video is created strictly for educational and informational purposes only. It is not affiliated with, sponsored by, or endorsed by TELUS International. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That is what helps and motivates me to create more valuable content like this. If you need an expert to write the Media Search Analyst App Store Baseline Exam, click on the WhatsApp link in the video description or the comment section. In this video, I will walk you through Understanding Rating Scales Additional Rating Categories Comment Writing Mastery Examples and Guided Practice What TELUS Expects versus Common Mistakes Every task gives you two apps. One, Seed App the user's interest. 2. Recommendation, displayed as, you might also like. Your job is to analyze whether the recommended app is a good fit for that user. Steps to follow. Consider the seed's category, content, functionality, and likely users review the recommended app to understand whether they align determine the correct similarity rating. Think like a user, if I like this seed app, would this recommendation satisfy me? There are five possible relevance ratings. Very similar. The recommendation would clearly satisfy a user of the seed app. Same category. Same core functionality. Same audience. Strong overlap in expectations. Example. From file PUBG Mobile to new state mobile. Same genre. Gameplay users similar partially satisfies user interest some overlap in features not interchangeable somewhat similar only one dimension overlaps maybe only game mechanics or only audience or only content this also applies to different language apps only when they still serve a cultural segment in the market not similar no meaningful connection different category Function, audience, also applies when the language does not meet cultural expectations. Use only when, missing thumbnails, missing titles, information broken. Quick recap tip, if it checks all, very similar. If checks many but not all, similar. If checks one not more, somewhat. If checks none, not similar. After selecting relevancy, you must also complete App functionality Game mechanics, if games Topic and content Audience Duplicate check 1. App functionality Do both solve the same problem? Same, Uber and Lyft Related, Southwest and Priceline Different, Uber and Kayak Neutral if the seed is a game Game mechanics only matters when both are games. Running versus puzzle versus shooter differences. Content and topic. Theme similarity. Sports versus different sports versus entertainment. Audience. Who is the app for? Fits. Gamers? Professionals? Duplicate check. Same app or paid slash free version copies. This is where most candidates fail. Every rating choice must have a mandatory English comment, even if the UI says optional. A good comment must explain only why your rating is correct. Be concise. Follow guideline logic. Structure. These apps are rating because category slash content slash functionality slash audience alignment. Example for very similar. Both are Word document creation apps with the same purpose and target productivity audience. Game mechanics do not matter as these are non-game apps. Never include Personal opinions 
Missing info that isn't true. Overexplaining or vague language. Your scoring depends on accuracy of similarity rating, correct breakdown of additional criteria, quality and clarity of comment. Avoid these common mistakes. Rating similar when it should be not similar. Ignoring audience. Forgetting mandatory comments. Overrating when only one dimension matches. I believe you have gotten some knowledge about this project. You now understand. Rating scale thoroughly. Additional category judgments. Comment writing that passes the exam. What TELUS expects. Common pitfalls to avoid. When people browse apps on the Apple App Store, they often see a section called, you might also like, under an app they are viewing. This feature shows recommended apps that Apple believes are related to the user's interests. In the TELUS Media Search Analyst project, the job is to judge how good or bad these recommendations are, based on how closely they relate to the app a user is already interested in. The first app is called the Seed app, and the suggested one is the recommendation app. The goal is to think like a real user and decide, if I like this first app, would I also want to download the second one? To make these decisions fair and consistent, TELUS provides a set of rating categories. These ratings explain the level of similarity between the two apps. There are five options, very similar, similar, somewhat similar, not similar, and problem, other. Each one reflects how much the recommendation would satisfy the same type of user. The highest rating, very similar, is used when both apps are strongly aligned in terms of category, features, purpose, and audience. In other words, they would clearly be useful to the same type of person. The next rating, similar, still shows a connection but not a perfect one. The apps may share functionality or users, but they are not interchangeable. The category somewhat similar is used when the two apps have only one meaningful thing in common. For example, they may both involve running gameplay, but one might be a zombie game while the other is a princess adventure. These apps overlap slightly but are not really geared toward the same users. This category also applies if the only similarity is language or culture related. However, when there is no clear connection at all, the correct choice is not similar. In that case, the recommended app would not interest the typical user of the Seed app. Finally, Problem Other is reserved for tasks that cannot be judged properly, such as when the title or thumbnail is missing. In addition to choosing a similarity rating, the evaluator must also answer a few extra questions. These secondary ratings help break down the decision more specifically. They include app functionality, game mechanics, only if both apps are games, topic and content, audience, and whether the apps may be duplicates of each other. These categories require the analyst to look deeper at how the apps work, what themes they include, and who they are designed for. For instance, Two apps may both be photography apps, but if one focuses on professional editing while the other only removes backgrounds, their functionality would be different even though they target similar users. What many new evaluators overlook is that comments are always mandatory. Even when the interface labels them as optional, the guidelines clearly state that raters must leave a clear comment explaining why they chose their rating. A good comment is short, focuses on the most important similarities or differences, and avoids personal opinions. The purpose is to prove the decision is based on the exact rules provided rather than random guessing. Overall, success in this task comes from always thinking like a user, applying the rules consistently, and not overrating similarity. When only one characteristic matches, it should not be considered highly relevant. When an app has no meaningful connection, it must be rated not similar, even if both are popular or well-designed. The analyst's responsibility is to make sure the app store's recommendations actually make sense for users. In conclusion, the TELUS App Store recommendation rating system is about understanding how users choose apps and how they expect recommendations to help them. 
by reviewing functionality, content, gameplay, and audience, and by explaining every decision clearly, evaluators help maintain a smarter and more user-friendly app store experience. When done correctly, this task ensures that users are more likely to see apps they truly care about, not random suggestions that waste their time. If you need an expert to write the Media Search Analyst App Store Baseline exam, click on the WhatsApp link in the video description or the comment section. And that brings us to the end of this TELUS Media Search Analyst Masterclass. If this helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment letting me know how your exam goes. I've also got more videos coming to help you sharpen your rating skills and pass with confidence. Thanks for watching, and best of luck!